I'm excited. I love Am I the A-Hole. I haven't done one of these in so long. So we are going to jump into it. And what we're going to do again, like I said, is I'm going to go through. I'm going to read them out. I want to know. You have your chat somewhere on the screen right now. I want to know people's opinions in real time. And then also... Um, I'm hopefully gonna upload this on YouTube after, so I want to know people's opinions on these, and let's get into it. My drink of choice today is a Red Bull, so cheers to that. All right, okay, normally whenever I do this, I just kind of scroll down. I mean, there's... Very engaged means it's... It's like, I, it's gonna go one of two ways. It's gonna go one of two ways. So we may as well just start with this one. It says, am I the a-hole for moving out of the apartment my parents bought for me after they made me let my brother live there? They did not buy it specifically for me. I just didn't know how to phrase it better. When I got into university, my parents purchased an apartment close to the campus so that I could live. Look at these rich people. Rich people already complaining. Hey, Adam. Hi. I feel like liquid death today. I do, I do not sympathize with that. Oh, I, I do sympathize with that. Sorry. Oh, my God. I do sympathize with that. I hope you feel better is what I meant to say. My goodness. It's quite rid of me. Oh, my God. Here we have rich people complaining. When I got to university, my parents purchased an apartment close to the campus so that I could live um, my way without having to deal with other people. Am I supposed to feel bad for someone like this? Boring. Loser. Um, I'm not social and I could, yeah, but a lot of us are not social, but a lot of us are not rich. Um, I'm not social and I could best be described as either a misanthropist or a curmudge. Bitch, what are these big words? What the fuck is this? A person who dislikes humankind. <laughs> slay, slay, all right, all right. A person who dislikes humankind? Mama, what does this one mean? What does it sound like? Curmudgeonly. Ooh. Curmudgeonly. Google has a sexy voice. Whoa. Misanthrope. Misanthrope. Missing throat? What makes a person misanthrope? A misanthrope is a person who made it their general practice or state of being to hate other people. Someone said I'm already getting asshole vibes. I'm getting the worst vibes from this person. So what makes another person this? What is the literal meaning of... Curmudgeonly. Curmudgeonly. Doesn't this sound like Prince Harry's audiobook? Curmudgeonly. Curmudgeonly. I pulled down my trousers and I saw my, my frostbitten penis and it felt... Curmudgeonly. Um, a crusty, ill-tempered and usually old man. Are we supposed to be sympathizing with this person? Curmudgeonly. So it means grumpy old man. All right. It was great for two years and I came out of my little shell a little bit. Hi, if you're living... Anyways, I met other people like me and discovered that Unlike high school, university is in hell. I even met a guy. We both work at a campus store. Wait, this di person didn't say, like, anything about themselves. Normally we start this with, like, a little bit of information. A little bit of information. Hmm. We both work at the campus store. My little brother graduated last year and got into the same school. Rather than stay in dorms, he convinced my parents to let him move in with me. But that's not okay because you're curmudgeonly and you hate people because you're an old man. Um, well, they own it, so I had no say. I lasted one sem semester. Since he had an off-campus residence, my apartment became party central. Oh my god, it's almost like you're at, wait for it, university. <gasps> my god. I asked my parents to make him stop. After talking to him, it didn't work. They said to listen up. I think they didn't know how to change my personality. I talked to the university. Oh my god, this person is like, this person is like tattletailing on their brother. Dude, this person sucks. I talked to the university and was able to snag a rare single room in the in the mature student dorm. What the hell's a mature student dorm? Sounds like a boring student dorm. I don't have a lot of stuff, so when we went home for Christmas, I took what was really important to me. My boyfriend, first one ever, by the way, look at me all social night. Look at this person. I'm sorry. I don't know if I'm gonna like like this person or whatever. 
I'm um, down the line, but this person's really pissing me off. Sorry. Commodionally. Commodionally. Misanthrope. Misanthrope. Um, when we drove back after New Year's, I dropped off my brother and then I went to my new place. It isn't perfect, but it's pretty sweet. Oh, look at them roughing it like us folk, like us non-rich folk. Boo. Well, if it was all the time, I would be upset too. I had a horrible time my, uh, with my roommates partying every night and they wouldn't listen to anything I'm saying. Okay, so what I'm saying is I understand that. I understand if there's going to be an argument about partying or anything like that. But all I'm going to say is that this person is literally saying as if their brother existing within the place that their parents got for both of them is an issue. I don't think it boils down to partying whatsoever. You're telling me this person is this opinionated online and isn't saying something in person? I agree. This is a different tax bracket type of person. Yes. You know what that means? No sympathy. Sorry. No sympathy from me. They were upset that they spent all that money to help me and I did not appreciate it. So the parents about the apartment. Um, until they stuck me with my brother, I said that I did. Oh my god, this person is literally the worst. Commodionally. Commodionally. Without me, it was a blast. Good for him. Or without me being there, he's having a blast. Good for him. He's also missing a lot of his classes and has been fined for noise complaints by the condo board. But that's not my problem. This person is so annoying. This person's really annoying. I'm sorry, I'm completely on the side of the brother here. Like, the other brother. This person is, like, believing that their condo, that their parents got them for university is like their um, permanent residence for when they're going to like grow a family and stuff like that. Not going to lie, the brother also sounds annoying. The brother sounds like people I know. The brother sounds like most of my friends. The brother sounds like all the students I know. It just sounds like a university experience. It just sounds like a bunch of really spoiled people. Commodionally. Commodionally. My parents are asking me to please move back in because my brother is in danger of being put on academic, academic, um, academic probation. Oh my goodness. I thought everyone just did that in college where you like didn't go and do your work or whatever. Whatever. I asked if I was allowed to bar him from having parties and stuff. He was part of the conversation, was upset that I would be asking to be put in charge of him. My parents said he was allowed some freedom and that as his big sister, oh, we find out now that this is the big sister, I should look out for him and not let him fail. I thanked them for the opportunity. I but declined. So you're declining to like look out for your brother after apparently like ranting about him all this time. So you don't care about him. You were just wanting to be a little bitch. And he recently had a party that the cops had to shut down. Where was my invite? Like. I'm going to be honest here. What this one actually does sound like is. The sister's the biggest asshole, in my opinion. Actually, the parents are the biggest asshole. And the parents are the biggest asshole for buying a condo and setting your children up like this for uni. Even if I had that money and I had children, I would not be doing that. They would be getting the experience like everyone else. And they wouldn't be, I wouldn't be putting my children on a higher pedestal than other people that they're going to school with the parents are the biggest assholes the sister is the biggest asshole right underneath them and then the little uni student should the uni student be partying all the time no is that what uni people do yes so to me the brother is the least asshole out of a group of assholes and he recently had a party that cops had to shut down. My parents are considering selling the apartment. Oh no, but it's kind of a crappy market right now. Oh no, things aren't good for landlords. Commodionally. Makes me so sad. I feel bad that they might lose money after doing something so awesome for me. And I feel bad that my idiot brother might have to take some time off school to calm down. But I don't think I'm the asshole. They all do though. Okay, so we've got to come to our conclusion. So chat, what are we thinking? Asshole or not? Or not asshole, they all suck. What are the options again? I'm trying to remember, there's like other options. Oh, here it is. Okay, I'm not going to read the chat. You're the asshole, you would be the asshole, not the asshole, you would not be the asshole, everyone sucks here, no assholes here, not enough information. I'm going to say that everyone sucks here. Okay, what are we thinking, chat? They all suck. I agree with Adam. 
Um, everyone's the asshole. Everyone sucks. I think they all kind of suck. Everyone, they're all annoying and privileged. Yeah, I think this one definitely is everything. They're all annoying. Everyone's ass. Everyone, everyone, everyone. Well, I mean, chat are definitely thinking everyone. What actually made them the asshole here, though? I feel like everyone expecting her to come back is rude. What makes them the asshole here in terms of everyone? I mean, what makes the parents is that the parents are feeding into this unnecessary, like, wealth divide at university, which doesn't need to be there and is so inappropriate to be there. And then expecting their kids to not abuse that when it comes to having parties at this amazing condo and stuff like that. So parents are the assholes. Sister's the asshole for just snitching on the brother and not actually wanting to help the brother because when confronted to help the brother, she said she didn't want to do that in the first place. So she's just a little snitch. She's the asshole. And can the sister not communicate like an adult? That's why she's the asshole. And then... I turned the swear filter down a little. Oh my god, it's censoring suck and trash. Oh my goodness. That's fine, Dory. Um, and then the little brother as well. I mean, the least amount of asshole here, I'm sorry. But, you know, if you're not going to classes and stuff like that, listen, I really don't give a shit. I mean, I basically dropped out of school. But, like, I think that the brother can also be deemed as an asshole for the way he's going on. But, I mean he's acting how you would act whenever you're given a fucking condo at university. So brother, sister, parents. Hi, sisters. That's kind of my ruling. All right. What is the chat saying? Not the asshole. Your parents want to spoil their son, but blame you for the consequences of their shitty parenting. You're a hundred percent right to wash your hands of it. Oh my God. So they, so Reddit disagrees with us. That's actually the first time I've ever done one of these that Reddit has like disagreed with my genuine like opinion off the bat oh my goodness that's shocking not the asshole <gasps> oh my god mine too you can't tell your brother what to do not the asshole what what someone said the conclusion right now curmudgeonly curmudgeonly i'm actually shocked at that I would genuinely put this one down to everyone's the asshole. Wow. Little bro is learning adulting his way has consequences. Damn. Not the asshole. You're not your brother's mother. If your parents want him to be in a more controlled environment, they can have him live on campus where he'll be able to, you know, abide by the rules. Oh my God. I just think why are why are either of these being snooty and in, in in condos and I just think that like everyone's the asshole here. Wait, is this a rerun or live? This is live TV, baby. I think because he didn't change from the last time. Should we just do this one? My B day is early April, so I'm asking for it. Um, someone said, okay, am I the asshole for making my brother's vegan girlfriend feel alienated at my engagement dinner? I, 24 female, recently got engaged and had an engagement party dinner this past weekend. I am currently still receiving backlash from this and I want to get some outside opinions if I was in the wrong. Are we ready? Okay. Um, my fiance, wait. The other trailer for the expansion is stream safe, only if you mute it, by the way, if you're wondering. The other trailer. Is there another one? Oh, probably music and stuff. Thanks for letting me know. Um, I didn't. Um, my fiance and I invited both our immediate family and close friends to this dinner. About 30 people. Okay, we're setting the scene here. The dinner was held at a nice Italian restaurant in my city. Our invites gave our guests the option to choose between a meat option and a fish option for their mains. Okay, well, first of all, I mean, if I was going to this, I want to hear from chat here, I, but if I was going to this, I really wouldn't have anything to eat, and I'm not vegan. I just really do not like really eating meat, and I do not eat fish. I do not eat fish, so I'm kind of already siding with the vegan here because I would not want to eat anything from here, and I mean... Obviously, I can just eat on my way there, or I can eat after it or whatever, but, like, 
I would struggle so much and I'm not even vegan. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I'm not loving this whatsoever. I mean, it's a lot easier to do a vegetarian option than to do, she could have eaten a salad or something, but they haven't written that down so far. Okay. Choose between a meat option and a fish option for their mains. It's important to note that the only people in both mine and my fiance's family that I guess have food restrictions are my dad and stepmom as they're pescatarian. Now, pescatarian means they only eat fish or they don't eat fish. Which one is it? It's a restaurant. Why can't they just let people order? I would assume for, like, cutting budget, which is fine. But, like, you can do things that are a little bit more vague than meat and fish. They only eat fish. Okay. Only eat fish. Mama. I hate fish so much that that's, like, such a scary thought to me. But, I mean, people love it. But a lot of people in our family love seafood, so the fish option was chosen more than the meat option. My younger brother, 20 male, just like me, just like me, contacted me about a week before the dinner to RSVP and asked if he could bring a plus one, his new girlfriend. He chose the meat option. So did she. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <coughs> Sorry. Oh my goodness. Made myself giggle there. Anyways. <clears throat> now my brother dates around a lot and is always bringing new girls around. So I wasn't aware that he was even in a relationship. I told him sure and I'd have an extra seat for her. Night of the dinner comes and everyone is having a good time. I met my brother's new girlfriend and she seemed very sweet. When it came time to eat, she pulled one of the waiters aside and loudly, so we're being told that she said it loudly, asked him, is there any vegan options? The waiter looked confused and said, we have a fish and meat option for the mains. I can offer you a salad and some roasted potatoes and other veggies as a substitute if you wish. Okay, this is important. This is important. There's two things that are important here. The girlfriend is new and she was offered a salad and roasted potatoes and other vegetables. So I feel that I'm siding less and less and less with her if there's going to be an issue because she was offered basically a vegan option. I mean, whenever I was vegan and I went to like Christmas dinners or something like that, and I'd be like, oh, like I'm vegan and I hadn't told them ahead of time. And they'd be like, oh, we can just like ruffle you up you know like a salad i'd be like okay thank you you know anything was kind of good because especially if you haven't warned them brother's girlfriend started getting mighty with him and said, well this is also a new girlfriend just get rid of her brother's girlfriend started getting mighty with him and said well what if i don't want a salad you just assume because i'm vegan i only eat salads what if i want some pasta what kind of restaurant is this this is discrimination for some reason i don't believe this for some reason i don't believe someone would say this I just don't think someone would say this. You're telling me, okay, I'm, I'll go along with it, but you're telling, oh, sorry. You're telling me that someone says, well, what if I want to eat a salad? Or what if I don't want to eat a salad? You just assume because I'm vegan, I only eat salads? What if I want some pasta? What kind of restaurant is this? This is discrimination. I don't believe someone would say that. I'm going to believe it just because we're doing it, but I have seen people say these things, but I'm from California. I would hope she didn't actually say that because yikes. Someone said, I mean, pasta can be, ve or can to be, can't be, wait, can be not vegan. Sorry, fuck me. I'm only like here in my Red Bull. It hasn't hit yet. My brother started trying to calm her down, but she started going off on me, saying, why would you pick a restaurant that doesn't have vegan options? Many people are vegan nowadays. It makes me feel alienated that you didn't even think to accommodate to me. I explained to her that the only people that have food restrictions here are pescatarians, so that's what I considered when I chose the restaurant. I didn't even know she was coming until a week ago. Uh, the reservation has been booked for a month. She started saying it's embarrassing on my behalf that I don't accommodate to all of her guests and called me small-minded. I told her, sorry, I didn't think to accommodate to you. I'll consider that in the future. Hopefully you'll be around long enough to be able to do so. Not the sister being shady. Shady. 
She ended up leaving. My brother walked out with her and has been messaging me that I should apologize to her because I embarrassed her in front of everyone. I told him she embarrassed herself. My mom's also been on my case saying to apologize to her to be the bigger person to keep the peace. Am I the a-hole for making her feel alienated? Um, no. I mean, the girlfriend's in the wrong, but I mean, also, like, why is the girlfriend still around? I mean, get rid of the girlfriend, like someone said. The girlfriend embarrassed herself. No one here is the asshole except for the girlfriend because the girlfriend was actually offered that she would be given a vegan option, right? Where was it? Some roasted potatoes and other veggies and, and a salad. Mama, that was more than I got offered sometimes whenever I was eating at places vegan. I remember on my birthday one year, it was like a, a miracle that they gave me like peppers that were like stuffed with rice and that was delicious. But like the, the effort, because especially that was in Derry in Ireland, like not a lot of menus catered towards vegans or even vegetarians and stuff like that number one the girlfriend was only invited like a week or so ago before the event number two if it's just one person with a dietary restriction and it's easily you know something cooked up and we don't need to you know go to this big fuss for it then great like this where we're able to you know make her some roasted potatoes or some bullshit i don't think anyone's here the asshole except for the girlfriend someone said oh for the love of god do not apologize to her uh, what makes she, uh, you think she can complain like that? Uh, the way she talked to the waiter proves that she has no manners, and the way she talked to you tells me she's rude, spoiled, and a brat. She embarrassed herself in front of everyone by this inappropriate attitude, and you were being too kind to her. Bravo. Easy, not the asshole. Your brother is the asshole for taking her side. All right, okay. Op's brother is the biggest asshole here and sounds like he's the golden child considering the pressure from mom to apologize to him. Number one, he was responsible for making sure um, Op knew his girlfriend was vegan. He was responsible for telling his girlfriend what restaurant it was so that they made sure there was vegan options. His girlfriend made a scene at an important family dinner as if trying to establish some sort of dominance here. From the signs of it, the girlfriend knows the family pattern is in favor of the brother. He, he allowed his girlfriend to disrespect up at dinner and ruined the dinner. He allowed that to happen because of his incompetence prior to dinner and his behavior during dinner. He is the one demanding an apology and making the bigger uh, the issue bigger than what it is. He's the one creating the problem. And this is kind of where I'm at. Plus, they had vegan options. You know, they said they would make vegan if she asked for it. And, you know, it seemed they were being very attentive. So what are we thinking here, chap? Asshole, not asshole. Yeah, girlfriend was asshole. No one knew about her dietary restrictions until she was offered something. Oh, and she was offered something, yeah. True. The brother is the asshole. Girlfriend is the asshole, for sure. Brother is the asshole. So who's the bigger asshole here? Is the girlfriend... I'm going to do a poll, actually. Is the girlfriend the bigger asshole or the brother? Bigger a-hole. Brother. Girlfriend. I have no idea why my caps are on, but I love it. Okay, I'm going to let y'all vote. Bigger a-hole, brother, or girlfriend. Oh, people are saying mother's the asshole as well. But we're going to go between these two, just like to kind of, you know, I need to refresh this because it says it's a rerun for me too. Sorry. If it says it's a rerun, it's not a rerun. Just refresh. Oh shit. Where'd it go? Okay. Here we go. Okay. Girlfriend being the bigger asshole is definitely winning. Someone said for this being the first meeting as well. Yeah, that's crazy. Okay, apparently we're going to end it at girlfriend. I mean, I'm going to give it a second. Okay, girlfriend being the asshole. Girlfriend being the asshole. Brother simply because he is family and responsible for bringing someone into the family and letting them be disrespectful. I kind of side with you. I think they're both assholes here. But I mean... I would say that the brother is the biggest asshole here for allowing this to happen. But I guess, I guess you all disagree with me because I mean, the girlfriend won. The girlfriend won. Adam, you should read the one that was posted on the Discord. A lot of people have opinions on it. 
On the Discord? Where? On the Discord? Where? How'd I end this pool? On Reddit posts? Where? Where is it? Hello? Reddit post channel. Wait, if it's not like an actual Reddit post. I want like an actual Reddit post. Oh. Okay. This one? Okay. Let's read it. Let's read it. This one's coming straight from the muckers. Am I the asshole for deciding not to pay my daughter's tuition and rent? Wow, we've got a lot of ones today about college. My husband and I, 54, set up college funds for each of our children before they were born. We've been quite lucky, ugh, rich, and not each account could pay for four years of private college easily. Okay, mama. The issue is our eldest 24 female, let's call her Natasha. Hi, Natasha. She's married to her wife, Miriam, who is a nice girl but has no ambition whatsoever. We split the cost of the wedding with her parents. Miriam has a master's, but her job is something with little kids on the spectrum, and it's only part-time. She also has a condition that I don't want to get too much into here, but that makes her more burdensome. Okay. Um, we paid for Natasha's college out of pocket. Reasoning, uh, we can save the college fund for grandkids, etc. She first got a job when she graduated, and then she wanted to go to grad school. We said, okay, we will pay for your grad school as long as you study hard and be responsible. Recently, the girls started making noise about taking foster children into their home, an apartment very close to campus that we pay for. We said that's probably not a good idea, but it just went in one ear out the other. Natasha texted the other day saying that her tuition for September is due, and after discussing it with her father, I asked if she was still planning in fostering kids. She replied that they were almost done with the process and could have their home open in as little as a month. At that point, I texted a cam and measured paragraph explaining that we couldn't support them anymore. The whole point of paying for everything is so Natasha wouldn't have to work. Not so that she could be distracted and deal with someone else's kids. Dill? Dill? Who's Dill? Dill Miriam? Dill? Who's Dill? Daughter-in-law. Thanks for letting me know. Daughter-in-law, Miriam, called me and was kind of awkward. I explained my reasoning and she said, okay. Uh, she said Natasha's grades probably aren't going to go down at all from having a kid in the house. And I said that that would be nice, but you don't know that for sure. I said there's plenty of other things that they could do for community service together, even with Miriam's condition. I don't like the way that the mother, by the way, is talking about Miriam. She agreed that there are other ventures. My friends all have different opinions. Some don't understand, understand. Some don't understand why Natasha doesn't have access to her college fund uh, since she's over 21. But all I can say is that she doesn't. One thinks I'm the asshole because Natasha's already done one month of work for this semester and they already have the furniture for the child set up. So Reddit, am I the asshole? ETA, it would be completely different if one of them had their own baby. And I told them that. The state more or less reimburses foster parents for what they oh this person's like this mother is mother 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 this mother is not mothering it would be completely different if they had their own baby the state uh more or less reimburses foster parents for what they spend on their kids eta added to add just in case thank you for letting me know um wait where'd it go so reimburses the kids. The issue from where I'm standing is that I don't think she'll be studying and doing 24-7 charity work at the same time. Heaven forbid someone does a little bit of charity work, mother. Uh, the college savings account was set up so that we stayed the owners even after Natasha came of age. I don't know exactly how, but that's how it's set up. There's enough money in there for eight years of education several times over. It's not about that. When she got into grad school, we said we can transfer it over to her, but then once she got started, we realized it was a better financial move to pay for each semester out of pocket. ETA, again, none of the kids ever had control over their education funds, but rent, tuition, and extras got added and paid every semester. 
The others, honestly, were always much more respectful of our generosity. They joined social clubs, frats, hung out with other kids, with good families. Is this an issue about Miriam? This just sounds like an issue about Miriam. Because you're now praising your other kids and being like, they hang out with good kids, good families. It just sounds like the, the mother and father have an issue with Miriam. So, and the way they bring up Miriam's condition, like, it just sounds like they have an issue with their daughter being with Miriam. Her daughter wants to be a parent, and by the signs of it, she can't naturally do that. Why is she shaming her for wanting to be a mom and do school at the same time? Well, the actual fuck is going on with this mom. She's the asshole that the mom is very controlling. She doesn't like Miriam, and that they just want to foster kids. Um, okay, let me figure where I was with good kids. I'm presented very good image. Okay, so you see what I mean? The, the mother is now saying that, you know, I love my other kids because they've, in her words, I can't highlight this. Oh, Jesus. I can't highlight this because it's like a photo, but it says, had a very good image. Like, they presented a good image. So I just feel like the mother has an issue with her daughter being, I don't, I don't want to say being with a woman, but maybe being with Miriam. I definitely think that the mother resents her daughter for some reason whether it has to do with Miriam or whether it has to do with the mother resenting that her daughter is with another woman it's one of the two it's either Miriam's condition that she keeps bringing up or whether it's that um her daughter is with a woman like it's one of the two but either way I'm I think I'm already just going to end this on the mother's the asshole I mean I'll continue reading but I feel like we're all kind of in agreement that the mother's the asshole right and fuck this mother stupid bitch like this is kind of annoying me actually because first of all thank you all for sending this in who sent this in um lissy um thank you for sending this one in because obviously this is a very um topical one and if anyone wants to send other ones in you can join the discord and send it in the reddit section you can send the link or um photos this one really annoys me because this is now turning into like praising your other kids Okay, anyway. And also, um, it's going to be a lot more difficult for her daughter to have kids. And fostering is a way as well to not only give a home and love to these kids, but also for adoption, which is what her daughter will be going into doing. I'm pretty sure when you um, are adopting... Um, if you've fostered in the past, it really, really, really can help your, it's not your credit score. That's like the wrong word. Um, but like, you know, that kind of like thing, your like score, what's that word? It's like your score or your, what's the word? Also there's foster your, it's not your credibility, but like, it's like your, your, your file. Um, there's also foster to adopt scenarios too. As a social worker, my brother always says foster before you adopt. It's a good way to get an idea of what you're getting into. Reputation. Fostering can help you adopt because it helps your reputation. I don't know, like your adoption CV. I'll kind of end it on that. Like your your adoption CV. Like it helps if you have fostered because it just does. I don't need to explain that. It's not like a CV, but like that. Yes. Okay, let's finish this. But I mean, oh my God. Okay, look at this line. This mother is the asshole because look at this. Ugh. Natasha might need a little more direction because she often tries to present a bad image driving Miriam's ugly car when we offered to buy her a new one. Old clothes, hair not done, etc. This is like, I want to mother Miriam and Natasha. I will foster them. This is like, this mother is so stupid. This is annoying. We even offered for them to live in a nice area while Natasha studies, but they insisted on the cheapest apartment possible. So are you complaining that they're too reliant on you? They're not reliant on you at all or like whatever. Like I said, we're generous and they don't even appreciate it. They even wanted to have a very small wedding, which would not have been or which would have been disrespectful to a lot of family members not invited. But fortunately, we compromised on that. Well, I'm happy for you. Um, okay, where is it? 
Sorry, I'm trying to find it. Uh, but we compromised on that and everyone was happy. Everyone was happy or you were happy, bitch? No, we never specifically discussed rules with any kids, but I think it's clear that he who pays gets a say. Boo, corny. Certainly her siblings have never had any trouble with it. May I ask, are her siblings straight by any chance? May I ask, are the siblings straight by any chance? May I ask, or are the siblings dating anyone without, quote unquote, what you say is condition? Someone said the condition is the girlfriend being per question mark. Well, I mean, it's, it's almost like they're sounding like it is, right? What's going on here in chat? Oh, no. Oh, Sarah. Oh, I'm sending... I don't know if Sarah's watching, but I'm sending you so much love. Oh. These rich people are coming out in full force today. Yeah, fuck me. So fucking annoying. So fucking annoying. Anyway, um... I'm trying to figure out, um, I wish there was other ones sent in here, because I kind of like whenever you have, like, selected ones, but there's only one, there's only one, there's only one, love. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to, what does this mean? Streamer mode is enabled. Stay safe, friend. What does that mean? I can already see Adam agreeing with us. Yes. Um, okay, wait, let me go back to this. Okay, so we have this last one as well. So now we're going to go to another one that we have here. I'm trying to see which ones like shout out to me. Hides your sensitive details like Discord tag and friend details. Ah, I see. Okay. We have, am I the asshole for asking my friend for a piece of chocolate? I'm sure that one's a lot deeper than it appears, but like, oh, I'm sure it means it's something a lot deeper than that. Okay. Let me... <gasps> oh my god. Am I the asshole for not letting my friend bring his service dog over? What? Am I the asshole for not letting my friend bring his service dog over? Throw away. Now, that on Reddit... Means like a throwaway Reddit account, right? Reddit allows, da, 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 but you can still create throwaway. Oh, so basically, this person's trying to hide themselves. Nice. Um, my male thirty nine friend. Oh, my male thirty nine friend, male thirty eight, recently got a service dog. It's a diabetic alert dog. The issue arises in that he wants to bring it to my house when I host hangouts parties. I'm not much of a dog person and really don't want it in my house. Oh, this one's going to piss me off. This one's going to piss me off. You don't, you, I don't like dogs. I don't like dogs, actually. I'm not much of a dog person and really don't want it in my house, actually. It's a breed that sheds and I don't want to have to deal with dog hair in my house. Also, my friend or my kids regularly play in the yard and I don't want them to encourage dog poop or pee. I've spent the last 10 years in my house turning it into a place my friends, family and I could hang out. I have a pull. Well, this dog is literally the one that's saving your friend's life. So surely that can bend the rules a little bit and be a little bit like a friend. Someone literally said they're trained dogs. Yeah, it's like, this isn't like a little yappy chihuahua that's going to shit on your furniture. It could be. It could be. I want to do service dogs. I don't know how I spell chihuahua. Like, is there such thing as like a service dog that's a chihuahua? Small breeds. Some of the best small service dogs, Yorkshire Terrier, Corgi, Pug, Poodle, and Chihuahua. Oh my god, it is true. First of all, I think this person I'm going to decide is the asshole, but I want to like dive into this. What's the best breed of images? Hold on. 
Wait, they can actually be trained? Oh! Oh yeah, they're really intelligent. Retrieval dogs, hearing dogs, seizure alert dogs, diabetic. Oh, wait, this is literally what Dolly used to look like as a pup. This one right here is what Dolly used to look like as a pup. Oh no, she looked like that. Can we see them in action? Can we see them in action? So emotional support, I think any dog can be registered, right? I'm pretty sure you can get any dog registered for that. Top 10 service dog breeds. I want to see one in action. Shopping. Let's buy one. Assistant dog. <gasps> Can you, like, buy that? Oh, no, this is just, like, please don't pet me, I'm working. <laughs> me when filming YouTube videos. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, wait, so service dogs. My, I just, I'm so obsessed with German Shepherds. Yeah, emotionally support animals don't have the same pr uh, protections or training, but they get little. I just... Whenever I was in America, it's normally America that you see this, the German Shepherds as, um, like, service dogs. They're everywhere, especially, or like, training dogs, sorry, for, like, the police force. And they are just so intelligent. They are so beautiful. Like, these are the most, I, I believe that German Shepherds are the most beautiful dogs in the entire world. I will die on that hill. I believe that they are the most beautiful dogs in the entire world i would absolutely love to have a german shepherd whenever i'm older but i could only i could only commit to that whenever i'm older obviously and i'm not living in my apartment but like i just think these dogs are incredible incredible yeah like i mean this is literally sometimes like what you'll see in like alex airport anyways back to this I spent the last 10 years turning this house into a place for my friends, family, and I so we could all hang out. I have a pool I built. Sorry, I'm like spitting my mic. I have a pool. I built a bar in my basement. These types of upgrades. Um, I offered to meet at a restaurant or something else and host less, but my house is the preferred destination amongst everyone else. I have amenities that others don't, and they're expen there's no expensive food or bar tabs at my place i host a lot during football season and other major sporting events but with some general hangouts in between i told my friend that his dog was not welcome i offered to pay for a monitoring device that he could use but the dog's job is to be with this person and if you're then like oh my god you're the asshole i told my friend that his dog wasn't welcome i offered to pay for a monitoring device but he didn't take that offer well. He let me know he wasn't happy and recently missed our Super Bowl get together. That is so sad. That is so sad. The friend's dog isn't going to wreck the place. They've been trained to a standard and will be by the friend's side the entire time. What an asshole. I think that's like what's so annoying about this is that the dog isn't just like this like shitting machine like blah, 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 like this person's saying. That is so, so annoying. That is really annoying. Oh, my mom's texting me. That is so annoying. I doubt it would even leave the owner's side. Hi, Lauren. This person could say anything to try and make themselves seem better. The Losers Club, thank you for subscribing. Yeah, this is, this is really... You're the asshole. What are the things? You're the asshole. You need to stop equating your friend's service dog to pets. This is a medical assistance device. Would you tell someone they couldn't bring their wheelchair because you don't want the wheels tracking dirt on your floor? Don't call him your friend. Uh, we know he doesn't care about you. I'm guessing he would. I can tell that a lot of you are not familiar with diabetes and ways to monitor it. There is no magic glucose monitor. The most common way is a test kit where you have to prick your finger to get a drop of blood to test. These are the most accurate. So Gas would be sitting there pricking his finger every five fucking minutes. 
The second most common method is a device that you stick in your arm. You wave your phone or a small sensor over it and it gives you a reading. However, this is not as accurate as the first method. My doctors prefer the first, but the second me method can track your glucose levels over a period of time because it stays in your arm. I really use this one. It's close enough to my needs. So guests will be sitting there waving this sensor over their arms every 15 minutes or so. It only takes a second and it's easy. Um, but would anyone really be worrying about their disease all night? If the guest has a dog, it really sounds like there would be, wait, there'd be much more of a problem regulating it with the dog. Guests can relax because the dog will alert them if there's an issue. I just think as well, it's like, so if you're coming over for like a party or a Super Bowl party and you're saying that everyone there is drinking, but then everyone's going to be reminding this person every five minutes to do their, their, their prick. No. It's really frustrating that, like, you would even insinuate that. And this is not a friend. This is not a friend. There's no way this person is a friend. I have seizures and my girl would, would alert me before I'd even get dizzy. She caught me while I collapsed before and all. Do you have a picture of your service dog? If so, can you put it in the Reddit? Checking your levels every five minutes is not a thing someone said. Well, I mean, someone said down here. Well, they're basically making an argument that you would have to go to all this extremes, whereas you could just have the dog there. So, I mean, they're not literally saying that every two minutes you're doing this, but what they are saying is that that is the equivalent, whereas you could just have the dog there. And it's ridiculous that you would even insinuate anything other than that. And this person is the asshole. And this person is honestly really frustrating that you would even say that. I'm the asshole for telling my mom she violated my privacy for going through my suitcase. I don't care. I'm the asshole for telling my fiance that my friend's trauma is more important than her comfort. I'm the asshole for refusing to sell my Pokemon card collection to my neighbor's grandson. No, I don't think you're the asshole for that because they're like really, they're like things that are really important, you know, what I mean? like and hold a lot of value. The like Pokemon cards. Am I the asshole for favoring one of my grandchildren? Am I the asshole for asking my stepdaughter to cook for us? Am I the asshole for not taking my partner to a mar Wait, I'm going to go on the asshole section, and we're going to try to find, like, a good one. Like, we're going to know that they're going to be an asshole, but, like, we're going to find, like, a good one. Do you hear Bonnie snoring? She's fast asleep. Um... Okay, which one of these signs interesting? Um, stepdaughter to cook for us. Not allowing children under 16 in my wedding. Um, for suggesting that my husband should stay home with us. I'm an asshole for waking my girlfriend up on a flight because the food are about to be served. I want a good one. You know what I mean? Like, I want, like, a good, good, good. Someone said the trauma over comfort sounds interesting. Okay, I'll go back to it. Uh, where is it? If my, oh my God, read this one. Would it, would I be the asshole of my fiance and I say we're throwing a costume party, but it's actually our wedding. I feel like my parents would actually kill me. I feel like they would actually kill me. Like that would be the final straw. They would actually kill me. I donated my Pokemon cards a while ago, but the difference is they were mine. Um, okay. So we're going to find that one again. Where is it? Right here. Okay. So this is going to be the last one we do. So let's make it a good one. Am I the asshole for telling my fiance that my friend's trauma is more important than her comfort? My best friend lost a parent a year and a half ago, which led to... I need to sneeze. Uh, oh my God. Sorry, I tried sneezing into myself. And it always makes my parents really angry when I do that. So let me start that again. Bless you. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you all. I appreciate it. I have like a really strong light here so like when you need to sneeze and i need to do it again it's like intense anyway let's start that again am i the asshole for i need to sneeze again <laughs> hold on i'm like trying to like get over the moment you know what i mean I'm like calming myself down we're over the moment but it's like right there it's like right there like right like there <laughs> I think I'm over it. Okay, I got it. 
Let's try this again. Am I the asshole for telling my fiance that my friend's trauma is more important than her comfort? My best friend lost a parent a year and a half ago, which led to a mental health crisis for him. Our friend group has been picking up the pieces ever since. He's doing so much better now, but he's in therapy and he's definitely been going through it. What has complicated matters worse is my fiance. It goes without saying that I love her, uh, but she is the definition of a busybody sometimes. My best friend is a very private person. She knows something happened with him, but she doesn't know the details of what that something is. She probably never will, but because she's around me and my friends often, as my fiance live in the same house, she hears bits and pieces of the story and presses for more information. I try to circumvent circumvent now that just looks like a goofy ass word circumvent oh my god he sounds like embarrassed to say it circumvent 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 what does circumvent mean to manage to get around something by being like you know okay find a way around circumvent 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 all right i'm learning so many new words today I try to circumvent um, this as best as I can. For example, I step out of the room for specific phone situations or conversations. Um, but still, it's hard to limit the discussion about it sometimes. If it's necessary, we bring it up and she's a random person. We'll refer to it as the Nolan situation without giving specifics. Nolan will also stop by my place. This kind of makes me feel like if she's there for it, like, why aren't you... Hold on. Nolan will also stop by my place at night when he can't sleep. Oh, but your girlfriend's wrong for, like... Ugh, hold on. This doesn't happen all that often, maybe twice a month. He'll text me or call me saying he's outside. I'll go sit with him and maybe smoke a little bit, and then we'll head home. I'll wait up until I know he's gotten home safe. Then I go back to sleep. My fiancé hates this. She claims the phone calls always wake her up. They don't. She just always... Um, is awake going to the bathroom whenever I'm outside. Um, this brings us to last night. Nolan stopped by, and when I came back inside, my fiance says she was putting a stop to it. She said all the sneaking around is making her paranoid. She feels like she can she can't properly trust me, or being a part of my friend group without knowing the details. Um, I'm kind of siding with her. I'm gonna be honest. Um, and that no one needs to stop relying on me so much. I told her that no matter whether we're married, dating, whatever that she will never have any ownership over my friend's trauma and that she was never going to be able to order me around in regards to it. I always said her comfort was less important than someone's actual physical well-being. She was obviously very hurt by this. Um, <clears throat> so I, I just, so you're saying, I, are you the asshole? I think this person is the asshole. And I mean, very clearly we know that this is being ruled as this person's the asshole. The reason I think that it is, I need to cough, hold on. <coughs> sorry the reason i think that the fiance isn't the asshole is because this is all happening like in the fiance's house as well the fiance is in the friend group everyone knows but her she's there at all the events they're talking in code around her and then because of that the the uh, the man the fiance is like sneaking around because he doesn't want to tell you know his fiance what's going on with nolan which is then making the the fiance feel like he's cheating on her and i completely sympathize with her i completely sympathize with her i think that this person is being the asshole and i think that this could easily be resolved if she was just included in the conversations that are already happening while she's there so I just, I don't know. I'm going to be honest. I want to know what you all think. I just think that I don't know why they're not telling her what's going on, especially whenever she sees it happening. She's there. It's happening in her property. And it's just like, you can be there for your friend and you can, I don't even know why the, the man isn't even telling his fiance or fiance that, you know, I really don't want to get into it, but like, he's really struggling and he's lost, you know, he's, he's going through loss. Even if you're not getting into it that much, that'll put her mind at ease. But you're like taking private phone calls, refusing to tell her what it is, leaving the house late at night. 
of course she feels that you're probably cheating on her. And then for you to be like, oh, well, I'm not here to make you feel comfortable. That's also your fiance. And I understand someone said, I can see both sides. I have certain trauma I'm willing to discuss with friends, but never with their partners. And I completely understand. But all I'm saying is we're being told that the fiance, the girl, the wife or the, the, the girl, sorry, is in the friend grip. So it's not just like a partner. We're being told that she's in the friend grip, right? So, so many of the am I the asshole situations could be resolved easily if people knew how to communicate with their partners. Yeah, we've had this like so many times. Hi, Adam. Hi, chat. Hello. I just, yeah, a lot of this will always boil down to um, lack of communication and I think that we deal with that like so much here and it's like really annoying that like all these could be resolved so easily. But all I'm going to say here is I'm going to be honest. I don't think that the the fiance is being the asshole. I don't. I think that this person is if there's an asshole here, I think that they're not being transparent with their fiance and I feel bad for the fiance. So this person, by not being open with their fiance is making their fiance feel insecure and they're being there for their friend, which is great, but you are not causing it. You're making your fiance feel like shit. So you're saying, are you the asshole? I'm going to say in the situation with your fiance, yeah, you are. You're being a great friend to your friend, but you can also be open with your fiance without telling her everything. Junkie, we'll see you. Thank you for being here. So I'm going to do a final poll on here and we're going to see if people think the asshole or not slash poll and then i'll be like a hole question mark yes no so let me know if you believe that this person oh doesn't meet the requirements okay are they bad mm. let me know what you think Let me know. Oh, Jesus. Are they the a-hole or not? Let me close this. Oh. Okay, so yes is winning. Everyone vote. Do you believe that this person is the asshole or not? We're kind of getting a sweeping yes. We're kind of getting a sweeping yes. I mean, I'm going to close as well on asshole. I want to read like one of the replies, first of all. Um, you're the asshole. Imagine everyone code talking around you, your fiance stepping out to take phone calls and having secret meetups in the middle of the night that you can't ask about. Being excluded and made to wonder to that degree would make anyone crazy. If she came her here, I would tell her to leave you immediately. Yeah, okay, that is my opinion as well. Yeah. Okay, well... That was super enjoyable doing those Am I the Assholes, by the way. I appreciate you being here and answering them with me. Um, yeah, I think people are kind of came to that conclusion. Yes, one. Yes, one. All right. I'm going to hop off here for the night, um, or for right now anyway. I'm going to compile those in a YouTube video, figure out how to do that. Um, I might be coming on stream again later to play some games. Um, I appreciate you all being here. Thank you so much. Uh, make sure to follow me on Twitch. And I appreciate you profusely. All right. I will see you all. Thank you for being here. And I'm going to close this off. Peace.